If a sailor doesn't know which port he's steering towards, there is no wind that is favorable to him. Now, I often struggle with being specific. That's because in my restless magpie baby soul, I'm always worried that something is gonna get, get left out. Not making room for, ah, maybe that, maybe that has a chance of happening, then it won't happen. And so I've convinced myself that I've gotta be broad so that there's a wide range of possibility. But that isn't what happens. The opposite is true. If you're not focused with what you want to happen, you're not creating a path for it to come to you. When you're clear with what you want, with what you wanna say, with how you want somebody to help you, with what you want to do, you're allowing a clear direction. You're creating a, an agreement between everyone, including yourself, or maybe it's just, just to yourself, an agreement with yourself on what progress can look like. Because when you're not specific and precise about what you want, progress not only ends up being erratic, but it's also accidental, which means it takes you forever to get there because you're taking one step forward, you're taking two steps back. And so you're playing an anything goes kind of game. Anything can happen. And because you haven't been specific from the start on what that intention was all about, where you were going, which port you were sailing towards, any port will do, which means you don't get what you want. So you have to ask for it, literally, out loud, framing it for yourself. What do I want and how can I give it life, give birth to it? How can I put it out there so that it's something that lives as an entity on its own. How can I ask exactly, specifically, what I want, how I want it to happen, and how I want it to come and find me? It's a lot easier to stay motivated throughout the process of moving towards it when you know what you're after, and you know what it looks like, and you know what you want. The thing is that most goals worth having often take a lot of work, a lot of time, in many cases, a lot of sacrifice. You have to work at it for a while before it even begins to rear its ugly head and give you a sense of what you're looking for. Which means that we've got to stay on that path and we've got to be very focused on where it's going and how much time it might take. Now, if you're not specific about what that goal is, it's very likely that you're gonna be straying off the path because you haven't been specific on what you wanted from the start. And so once again, we're playing the anything goes game. So this is something I'm trying to do to be more specific with what I want. Not necessarily focusing on, you know, all of the details on how it happens and exactly on day number 45, that needs to happen. No, because you've got to leave room for how it finds you. But the leaving room part is by being specific on what you want right from the get-go on how it finds you. Because if you're specific, if you're precise, and if you're focused on a specific thing in the future that you know you want to happen, you're creating that path, you're creating a way for it to become reality. Take the time to think about what you want. It's not always as straightforward as you think, because as soon as you make that time to sit down with what you're looking for, you will find that a lot of things Will start to bubble up a lot of questions, a lot of ways of rethinking how you're going to go about this. And that's good. We've got to get past that initial level, that first stage of how to think through these things. And do I really want that? Am I truly after that? Or is it something behind what I thought I wanted? That's what I really want. You only know if you think about it. You only know if you make the time to be specific. When you're specific, you're focused. When you're focused, you know what progress looks like. When you know what progress looks like, it's more likely to happen in the way that you design. More likely to happen in line with your original intention.